Hello people, it's Cole. Today we'll be flipping through the Victoria's Secret Holiday Lookbook. This catalog is from Holiday 2000. So right off the bat, let's be clear. We're not gooning over panties and bras, all right? That's not what this is. <laughs> this is full head to toe fashion looks for the holidays. There's accessories and like incredible heels and boots and like everything that you would need for your your holiday fashion rotation. All right. I'm here for you every week with a vintage magazine flip through. So stay right here with me and let's get started. Okay, so on the cover, well, baby, it's cold outside. We're snoogling up <laughs> in a knit, um, it's like a zip up hoodie sweater with a fabulous puffy brown fur, probably faux fur, hood trim, which is incredible. I love this. The sweater is sort of like a vanilla, French vanilla, <laughs> creamy, creamy pale color. It's almost, it's kind of like a light tan, I guess. Um, and some tan pants to match. And we're, uh, you know, looking wistfully over our shoulder with our long, beautiful curled hair and then in the background there's a a wisp of a holiday which is a very blurry very dead charlie brown christmas tree with one silver <laughs> ornament hanging on it and that's the the cover of the lookbook okay let's open it up mm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's get it started. So, wow. Um, on this side, there's a little grid of different mm, chapters, I guess you could say, within the, the catalog here. Find the perfect gift for the holidays. Look for the special gift icon throughout the catalog. Oh, interesting. So they've like denoted some things as being specifically good to give as a gift. I, I don't know what the criteria is. We'll find out what, what makes a good gift, but... Here's our chapter as a little preview of what's to come, which, I mean, you're not gonna believe these looks. <laughs> and starting with this, like, incredible <laughs> tan knit tank top with a fur little, like, turtleneck trim, fur trim neck and a fur trim on the bottom of this little shorty tank top thing. Isn't that wild? <laughs> this looks like something that Meow. like a cat would wear. <laughs> like this looks like pet clothing. <laughs> Meow. And then there's an inset image of the, that sweater that was on the cover, this light tan sweater. Looks like it's a funnel neck sweater, zips up and then maybe the, yeah, the hood is detachable. So you can go with or without the hood if you're not feeling that daring to your holiday occasion. But I love this sweater. I think it's very, this one is a little Meow. silly to me, but this one I think is quite beautiful. I really like this. Okay, we're doing more sleeveless numbers. A faux fur pink sleeveless cowl neck shirt. Incredible. Oh, it's, it's identified as a vest, fur vest, and it's a great gift. This holiday's signature vest is like a fur coat without sleeves. Okay. I don't know why it's a, I guess it's a vest because it's sleeveless. To me, a vest denotes that it has like an opening in the front, but this one does not. Isn't that interesting? It's like a, I don't know. Again, doesn't quite resemble like clothing, <laughs> like in the traditional sense. It looks like a, like a pillow cover, like a pillowcase, you know? Um, but that's fine. It's very fun and very funky and very much matches this <laughs> pink carpet background. A pink carpet shirt for the holidays. Over here, we're doing more tan, more soft light tan, which is beautiful and always looks um, expensive, I think. Molly Sims, tan three ways with Molly Sims. Another great gift. We have a long knit duster with a little belt and some pockets a fur Meow. mini skirt, a tan faux fur mini skirt with like a swirly kind of fur pattern to it. 
ah, which is incredible, with the sleeveless turtleneck. And then down here, some printed pants. Oh, they're velvet jeans. Paisley velvet jeans with this choker and this unbuttoned, creamy colored collared shirt. She looks so beautiful in all of these looks. I'm really into this color palette. I'm into this these silhouettes. This is so good. And we just keep going with these unusual sweaters. It's really all about the unusual, sexy sweaters. Little crop, half zip fleece top. There's a wrap cardigan, which has like an, a contrasting color on the inside, which is cool. And some cable knit sweaters and metallic, shiny pink metallic sweater with white jeans. Yes. And this foldover cowl neck tunic number is also really gorgeous. I'm just so into this really light, soft, um, gentle color palette for, for winter. I think that's beautiful. And it's a lot of neutrals, which again, to me, is like, looks expensive and looks timeless. More fur trim, we're doing a fur trim. Mm, bolero sweater is what it's calling it. Has an interesting structure where the, the knit is like one continuous thing and then it, it sort of like tilts in to become diagonal where it meets across the chest. Pretty cool with some brown leather pants. And what else? More fur. We're really going heavy on the fur. Fur collar <laughs> with like a little black ribbon tie. Fur trimmed gloves, fur scarf, and a fur muffler. And by the way, that is Simone <laughs> from the movie Simone. I don't know. I'm not sure what her, like the actual actor's name is, but that's Simone. I love that movie. <laughs> you can imagine. <laughs> Red Christmas. Getting sexy in red. Okay. More fur. God, it's all about the fur. Fur shearling vest. It has a little bow tie in the middle with a matching red fur uh, interior, I guess. Everything says great gifts, which makes me think that that actually doesn't mean anything. <laughs> because everything. I don't know if it's like maybe there are things that are like would be m more easy to fit like he wouldn't have to really precisely know the the size of the person like these kind of boxy vest things that they're selling that maybe makes sense as like a great gift you know wow this what is this it's like a chevron pattern black and white fur coat with a strong graphic pattern that is shocking <laughs> it's so cool <gasps> wow with these long clean pant lines and this little spike heel popping out the bottom what a smart look and a turtleneck oh my god and then over here is like a classic y2k era kind of futuristic puffer jacket situation with some leather pants oh boy more knits we're doing a a knit tank top with like a contrast color trim, which is really cute. We don't see knit, like real knit knit tank tops very often. That's pretty creative. And we're getting shiny. Shiny for the holidays, shiny for special, special occasions. We're doing shiny purple gathered sleeve top. And this one in red with a scoop neck. And then this kind of cowl neck, olive colored, like super shiny tank top. That's beautiful. And then these very itchy looking knit metallic sweaters. You, I know, like, you know that texture, that itchy metallic wool, like a yarn texture, yeah. like a, like steel wool. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my God. Okay, we have a, a choker, like a rhinestone band choker, which is beautiful with like this clean, simple white collared shirt, but the shirt has 
rhinestone buttons. So it has a little bit of sparkle. Some Swarovski crystal bracelets in different colors. Green, blue, purple, red. I'm so into these like long sleeve collared button down shirts with no bra underneath. That is a statement look. Whoa, check out, oh my God. White pants, white like, flare. Are they tuxedo pants? Yes, tuxedo pants with like a rhinestone stripe down the side. That is so 2000. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this was one of the things that I saw when I like first got this in the mail and kind of briefly looked through it. These like completely, completely bonkers pants. Let it glow. More rhinestones. A rhinestone like stair-stepped grid of an open weave what how is this described i don't i'm having a hard time even coming up with the words to explain this studded silk pant this season's most bedazzled pant in silk shantong with rhinestone window pane detail slim fitting with side zip and side slit legs okay You cannot wear underwear with these pants. You're, you also cannot have any pubes with these pants because it's so low cut. I would, I, I applaud the women who bought this and like really did this and really like went for it because that is, <laughs> is very bold. Whoa, a full hesito bronze leather halter top and pants that match as a set and then there's also matching shiny bronze strappy sandals that go with you can see in the background we have like a stacked glass sort of a christmas tree made out of glass uh, squares of glass that are all stacked up very futuristic we're really getting into i mean you can see like the color scheme this light blue and silver and gray it's a very y2k futurism aesthetic which is marvelous and very nice i would say for like a winter holiday season it, it is perfectly suited for that leather bustier right here and a sequin laminated velour short very uh i don't know what disco-y <laughs> with that tie front these like simple black pants which is nice because you pair your simple black pants with your going out top and then you're like your look is good to go throw on those strappy little sandals you're done for the day red shiny these are not leather what are these laminated velour again laminated velour gives the stretch pant its shine the clean front no waist and slight flare Give it a long, lean line. No waste. What does that mean, no waste? Like it doesn't have a, you can't even see it because she's it's hidden by her arm. Uh, I guess it must not have a waistband. So it just sort of like ends. Maybe there's like a hook and eye closure. I don't know how that would work. P.S. She's drinking a Cosmopolitan, obviously. Shoes. They're really killing it with these shoes. These shoes are giving like big brats energy right velvet boots pointy velvet boots with a stacked wood heel that is killer that looks so good with this <laughs> brown jersey dress oh my god wow and then over here strappy shiny little barely there sandals doing more uh, browns and earth tones there's a, such an abundance of turtleneck sleeveless tops, um, which I think are very flattering. More sets, a brown leather motorcycle jacket with brown leather pants. So you can do a full like head to toe, like the, like the Terminator, you know, her, that one, <laughs> the Terminator gal, like a head to toe leather look. These jeans look really weird. Are these like not real jeans? 
yeah, they're not real jeans. They have a Velcro closure, so they probably, like, the fly isn't real. Do you see how flat? You may, might not be able to tell. There's a flatness to them that looks bizarre, and that's why. It's kind of like a precursor to, uh, to jeggings, right? Jean leggings. So here we have a little inserted mini book of some Christmas specials. So maybe this is a little more like Christmas morning, kind of like pajama, loungy, maybe a little lingerie type moments. Thermal cardigan, which is, that's so cute. I like that a lot. It comes in all these different colors. We're very cozy, by the way. We're, it's like a winter scene outdoors. We're cuddling up on some velvety throw pillows on the couch for Christmas morning, drinking coffee, glowy face, tousled hair, you know. Yeah, it is all pajamas. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Tyra! Oh my god. <laughs> Tyra in the spa robe, and she's holding a fluffy white fur pillow. Oh, and she's right here too. She looks so cute. I love this hair with these bangs. This is very, like, this feels very American Girl. Like, early 2000s American Girl. They were having, they, they were making these exact clothes for the dolls. This color scheme, these textures, these sort of shiny fabrics and things with the little print all over them, or like the little uh, embroidery and stuff. That's what this feels like. More lovely Y2K futurism. Is this Letitia Casta? Is that who that is? This chair is super cool. It's like silvery metallic leather. Like it's from a spaceship. <laughs> Heidi Klum, looking super cute in a little cheetah print, super short micro mini skirt with dark sheer nylons, which you know that I love those. And a turtleneck. This is a sexy look. And it also looks very like comfortable, right? This looks like something you could, like, I don't know, run from the police in. <laughs> okay, these boots. Get into these boots. We're doing cowboy boots. Yeehaw. Happy holidays. professional here, some charcoal gray skirts and jackets and cardigans and pants and things. We're in the city, you know, bopping around, maybe doing some holiday shopping. And then for an alternative <laughs> mood, denim, all denim. Carpenter pants with like a hammer loop and overalls and... I do love this, just like a classic blue, sort of iconic blue denim wash for jeans. Especially for this, because this is a very um, like classic silhouette, right? In a classic color, would always look good, still would look amazing. Ooh, there's a short sleeve, or I guess it's like an elbow length sleeve. Furry, like fuzzy Angora brown, orange brown sweater. Some fleece items. Remember the grip that fleece had on the world in the early 2000s and late 90s? Like, Old Navy was pushing fleece so hard that it took over our psyche as a thing that everyone had to have, especially a fleece vest. Zip up fleece vest. Yes, I surely did have a zip up cranberry red North Face vest with this springy like cord tied through the zipper pulls, you know? <laughs> Very like techy, tech fabrics. There's that sweater again, get a better look at it. I guess it's actually red, kind of like an Elmo. <laughs> Color and texture to it, fuzzy sweater. More leather pants. I guess this is, okay, so we get to see what the 
pants with no waist look like? That's what that is right there. It has no waistband. It just, the zipper just ends. And these have like an exposed zipper too. You can see right there. So they must have like a, some kind of closure inside to keep that from falling down. Although I suspect it would still want to fall down a lot. Wow. These brown leather pants are amazing. I would love some shiny brown leather pants like this. That would be such a good look. They would be so hot and heavy to wear, I'm sure. Um, and they're so expensive. Like even here in 2000, these pants are $225. Ah, but worth it. Surely, I'm sure the quality is top notch. It is Victoria's Secret after all. More turtlenecks. There's so many turtlenecks, which I, I think turtleneck, turtlenecks are very attractive, very flattering. And this leather wrap skirt is quite intriguing. It has like a big silver buckle on it. Okay. <laughs> so there is going to be some undergarments. <laughs> It's okay to look at some fashion undergarments from Victoria's Secret. I don't know. I don't have <laughs> I don't have a lot to say about the bras and underwear. Not very interesting to me, obviously. Um but look at all these fun colors that these panties come in. <laughs> Any five for nineteen fifty. I remember Victoria's Secret in the mall having, you know, like big. Did they have like bins, like panty bins, or like panty tables, but just like billions of panties all over them? Did they do that, or did someone else do that? It's kind of feels kind of sloppy of them, but maybe they did. I'm not sure. Maybe it was a sale thing. Maybe it was a Christmas sale thing. Okay, but back to more mm, less awkward territory. Pajamas. Fully covering <laughs> pajamas. Red cheetah print pajama pants and a red like tiger stripe. That's really cool. Animal print pajama. This is a whole set with a tank top and a cardigan and these pants. That is really fun. I love that. There's Tyra again, wearing some kind of dumpy gray pajamas. Very soft, soft pink and gray. There's that. Charlie Brown Christmas tree with the one ornament on it, remember, <laughs> from the cover? There it is again, and it's the same model, too, in front of it. Okay, on the back, a satin robe with a fleece lining in like a gray, silver gray, quite beautiful. I don't, like, gray is, I don't really love gray. It looks really good on some people. Uh, it's not my thing, but it looks fabulous on her, especially because it's like a shiny gray, like a silver. That, that looks good. And then there's some classic pink pajamas over here with silver <laughs> sandal heels, you know, like you always wear with your pajamas. And that's it. We're advertising free shipping and returns for any purchase of $100 or more, which would be pretty easy to do. I didn't talk about the pricing that much, but these things were fairly, you know, I don't want to say expensive, but kind of expensive for the time. I think that they were probably high quality, and I think that that makes sense. The, the price surely was justified, but free shipping, free returns. What a pleasure. Well, there you have it. Victoria's Secret Lookbook Holiday Edition from the year 2000. If you liked this video, give it a like. It really helps me out if you do. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Did you see anything that struck your fancy? <laughs> Do you have any Victoria's Secret 
memories or I don't know did you ever order anything from this catalog and was it as high quality as I as I think it was I will see you all next week with another new video so until then take care